it seems to be final destination actually for Frozen. So it's they're just not picking any mega stage, they're just going straight to final destination. Which I can see kinda why this would be good for either team really. I don't think anyone has any real clear advantage on this stage. In this case. Going off, a lot of up bees here from Hardline Johns. A lot, a lot. <laughs> I'm sure you, I'm like, kind of see the way they did it. Like, it's a pretty decent move. I believe it has some kind of water on it. Don't quote me on that though, but I believe it does. Like, a very startup. The guy's got pretty good hitbox. Yeah, okay. There he gets some. So far, like, the damage is very spread out. Like, I think, like, the only maybe issue green team might be finishing off these Donkey Kongs and if you let Donkey Kong get rage, he's very dangerous. This monkey, when, he, when the monkey is angry, he's very, very, very dangerous. Especially with like a golden kind of percent where they get like, actually kill you with up throw up there. Or like cargo up throw up there. With Ding Dong. So far, green team definitely seems to, uh, seems to kind of be following what I felt like. The green team having a pretty decent lead here. Up. Ooh, and there's the Ding Dong actually taking out War Warheart's stock. Warheart doesn't, I mean, Warrior doesn't do way much, so it's not that hard to understand like that. Unfortunately, that, that attempt at the King Combo kind of led into damage in Jero. Ooh, and there's the back air coming up from X and X. Ooh, he got the lock! Armoring through that key. Very. Oh, still alive. So there. Oh no! Oh! We actually survived because Warriors up match isn't as strong. Isn't, I mean, it's kind of strong, but it's not that strong. So now we have Jabu here at 205%. That's only a little bit like less than the total of his opponent, but there comes the key. He tried to up air the Hyrule didn't work out very well. All right, the so first game going to green team. So right now, going kind of like I expected it to. I will see. Obviously, adjustments can be made, and oh, well, Jebu and Jero definitely were able to keep up. I would say, like, it, like most most part, like most part when Orhart and Exetix eventually like took a stock. They were at like 120%, like within a matter of seconds or something like that. So, they definitely are definitely keeping up. It's like you just finish off the stocks quicker and keep start on the damage building faster, and it should be perfectly. And I mean, they should be able to take it. Take some games. So it seems like we're seeing a switch to Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario. I guess this pick is to help with finishing off with Donkey Kongs quicker. I think is the thought process behind this. 
Because as I said myself, I think that Wario and uh, like Pac-Man can struggle a bit with just straight up finishing off su such heavyweights as Donkey Kong and the strong hits of Dr. Mario definitely assist in making them die quicker, which means they have to worry less about rage being a factor. Oh, the, wor the worst Dr. Mario isn't, isn't that. Like, he plays him a bit. I don't know if he plays him in singles at all, but I know he plays him in friendlies. I know, like, he has a Dr. Mario, a pretty decent Dr. Mario. But we'll see how this turns out. This is already death for us, uh, though. That's, that's the problem with playing Dr. Mario. He's gonna die really quick from being gimped, and I definitely argue that Donkey Kong has a pretty decent gimp ability, too. We'll see. Ooh, a big giant punch! Ah, so far, this counter pick is not working out the very best for Warheart. But this counter pick stage, at least, for our, de our dear Donkey Kong is definitely working out pretty solidly. Reverse the up smash from Wario. No, Warheart. He wanted that ding dong, but. Didn't quite connect. Two high percent. Oh, there is the bell to the up smash. The situation is somewhat reversed with only except for the fact that, like, the Donkey Kongs haven't gotten them to as high percentage as they usually have at this point. I will see. I wouldn't. I would not call it. Oh no! Trades and gets H spike. That was fortunate for her. All right, it's, it's, it's gonna be rough. Oh, he kind of saves him, I think. Yep, and there's the footstool, but he footstools himself up to be upbeared <laughs> by Donkey Kong. Oh, this is a dangerous spot to be in. A very dangerous spot. All right, let's see. It's called in the up B. Is that the up smash? Oh, he, eh. too much aerial grip. Oh, nice stuff from Word. Uh, reading that. Being like, ah, oh, he's just gonna come here falling down. I'm gonna have to smash it. He did. Oh, this is rough. This can be rough. Jeros is at a very high percent right now. If we got the ding dong, it would be sick. Man, it's actually down to even right now. Almost like <laughs> entirely. Actually, you're ridiculously close now. Taking it back, new team. Oof. That's not good. Oh no! That was a wrong decision by Word. But he's still living, so it's fine. But still, I, I would have personally probably upbeat out of shield, I think, would have been a smarter choice. Ah, and Jebu, he wanted it. He wanted to risk it for the biscuit, but unfortunately, didn't quite work out. So that's the second game goes. Once again to Warheart and XZX. Alright. The counter break worked out fairly decently. In the end at least. I'd definitely say our previous team was a bit more solid overall. We'll see. Obviously, yeah, it seems like they're sticking to Dr. Go. And they're going back to Town City as well. So the salty road back. Going straight back into the next game. So we'll see if Jebu and Jeros can do the necessary adjustments here. They're using a bit more down B than they've previously been. Man, oh, that B is actually really solid into keeps. Wow. Like, it hits them quite a bit, keeps them in place, and the, like, final hit. I seem to be able to do some of the combo. Like, you know, Wow, that F smash already kills. That is actually a bit unreal. That is like, it's a terrible, terrible DI there. So far, very close once again, man. That was really fun to see people like that have never teamed before do this well with each other. Like, for, on both sides, I think. Well, like, XZX and Warrior are doing better, like, actual teams and stuff, I'd say. And Jeros and Jebber is doing 
pretty solid, like, individually, but they're not, like, they're not too shabby for as well. Let's see. We're gonna have to take J J Rez's stock soon. There it is. I think I don't know. Green Green Team definitely has a shot at taking the next stock. It might be already. He's tacked on so much damage already. Man, Donkey Kong is dangerous in doubles. I've never really thought about it like until now, but like now, the more I see Jeb and J Rez, I feel like I can see the threat. A threat potential for Donkey Kong in doubles. Like, Jesus Christ, look at this. This is ridiculous. Because up air is such a, like, I mentioned it before, but like, up air is just such a good combo finisher. It really is. And like, they just catch landing so well. Like, in general, like, playing like, du double of a character is not necessarily always the best to do. I'd say, like, because it's like, like, unless you play very differently and the character allows for very different playstyles, I'm sure Bennett could work pretty well because they cover for each other. And I'd say that's kind of though what Jay, Russ, and Jeffy do. I, I don't know, it feels like they kind of cover each other pretty well. They like, complement each other's playstyles. I wouldn't call this impossible, but it's looking very, very good here for the red team. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, no, this is a. Uh, it's down to XZX now with Pac-Man, which can who can struggle a little bit with the killing aspect here. Or just get rid of the guy. I feel like you know, like that's kind of Pac-Man's kind of struggle is that he doesn't really have any solid kill setups that don't require him charging a bit. Like he has to charge up his items and stuff. And like, but yeah, Game Freak going to uh, Team Donkey Kang, J Rose and Yabu. So we'll we're hard to stick with Doc because it's like I I personally didn't think that sticking with Doc was a good idea. I think he should switch, preferably back to Wario. I think, or if he wants to feel feisty, he could always try Ness. He could always try. I will see what he decides to do here. I I personally would not stick with Doctor Mario in this case because I feel like this wasn't going very well, and I feel feel like he didn't really utilize what he wanted to. But we'll see. Yeah, there's the switch back to Wario. Just like I anticipated. For stages though, I'm not sure where we want to go. We probably don't want to go to Town City. I have a feeling the developer want to do that. I'm not even sure. If it, actually, they're not even allowed to unless you have a general suit. Allow them to, which... Eh, they could. I mean, like, they're Donkey Kong. They, like, they still like Town City because they're Donkey Kong. But yeah. We'll see. We're thinking about it a lot, it seems. They're colon thinking colon about it. Post your colon thinking colons in chat if you think that Warhart likes to think a lot. Oh, oops. There we go. All right. So still see, don't seem to have decided on a stage. Still thinking. All right, we seem to have finally decided on where we want to go, and they are going to Omega Lilac Cruise. It seems like, or or what? No. Okay, no. Look how happy Pac-Man is. Look, look how look how happy he is, man. He's so happy. But what's going on? What are they doing? What happened there? Modify the stupid rule. You can't go back to the bar and you see what you want to do. Yeah, they're really just confused about how the Dave stupid rule is for this tournament. We have modified Dave stupid rule, which means at the last stage you won on, you're not allowed to go back to. So I guess this was because of the fact that like they started out on FD, which they won on. Many go went to Town City, which they also won on, but and because the latest one they won on was Town City, they're allowed to pick back the final destination. So that was why that little pause there arose. But we're all good. So here we are in a Mega Lilac Cruise. I'm not sure why specifically they went to Lilac Cruise. 
I'm like, oh, I don't know if there's any specific jank involved for this stage, but anyway, there's a DK clap. As he said, as he say, oh, this might be why. I think that might be why for that little edge jank there. Actually, it might be why they decided to go to Mega Lila. I have a feeling that's exactly why we went here, was just to be able to do that kind of edge guard. Nice stuff work, not killing it though. There you go, there's the up smash you needed. Pretty close so far. More so leaning in the Donkey Kong team's favor. Let's see, up B. Little damage, there you go, there's a the back there. Up tilt. Mm, I didn't really follow that as well as I could have. Man, that's actually so dangerous on, on the shield, the Dong B. It's so much, much more useful than it is in some other games. Like the other, only other like Smash game that I can think of where that is good. At least, or, I, mean, I don't know if it was in Brawl, but I know like in 64 there is some pretty good like stuff you can do with down B, like true combos and stuff. Ooh, nice little team combo there from where our next set X. Ooh, and the stage spike! Man, green team are looking good right now. Looking real good. Woo! I actually think like we're maybe could have watched that and taken Jero stock right there. Right then there. <gasps> oh the bikes are down smash from Jero. That's feisty little thing. Using his own bike against him. I like it. I like it. Oh my god! Oh, green team are having a really solid time right now. And then I think this was a good, this was a good switch. Oh, BF Spider! <gasps> but the Hydrant! Oh no, it's Jebu out! This is Mikey Jero's tournament stock right here. Unless he somehow managed to pull the car, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't count him out. I would not count Jero's out. Except if stuff like this happens, while we're is a, I think, full loft. Then this might be a bit of a different thing, but still, I wouldn't necessarily count Jero's out. Especially not like not not only because he's Donkey Kong, but because of the player. But there, actually not enough. There was kind of too far away from the edge. And whoop, whoop. <laughs> there's the up B for him. There's the trampoline. Trampoline. Yeah. Oh man, not even waste of the waft. It's just not impossible by any means. I still have ways to kill like that, like that, and that's it. That's a free one. The green team. Good stuff from Warren X and X. We're now in Grand Finals, I believe, versus Miguel and M.